Hi everyone, this is Sean from Hancock Guitars. I'm going to explain how a guitar pot works today. I've pulled apart a CTS pot, which is a typical volume or tone pot out of a guitar. So we're going to run through the basic components of that and you'll be able to see how it works. And hopefully that'll allow you to visualize your wiring diagrams a bit easier. So I've taken the press metal back off this pot so you can see the internal workings. And this pot is a good one because you can actually slide out the shaft here. That's where your knob would normally fit onto there. What you've got inside of the pot, so this is carbon here connected to one end to this outer lug and one end to this outer lug. And then the middle lug is connected to this piece of metal here. The other part of the pot is the shaft and wiper apparatus. We call this the wiper here because it wipes along the carbon. And there's also a second wiper here which goes around the metal. Now that second wiper is always in contact with the metal. So that is always in contact with the middle lug in other words, because that second wiper is actually always going around that metal ring there. The outer wiper travels around that carbon circle. So depending on the position of that wiper on that carbon, that'll dictate how much of the signal can get between the middle lug and one of the outer lugs, either one of the outer lugs. So if that wiper is closer to this end, more signal can travel from this lug into the metal across and then out of that outer lug and less will get out of the other lug because it has to travel through all of this carbon, which is a resistor, and it has all that resistance before it gets out of this end, so it'll have less signal getting out of that end. But then when you turn the pot all the way around the other way, the wiper will be closer to this lug, and more signal will get out of that lug, less signal can get out of this lug because of the resistance that it needs to travel from this point across and through the carbon and out of that one. So basically, depending on the position of the knob, the amount of signal that can get from the middle lug to each of the outer lugs is changed depending on that position. I hope that helps you decipher how pots work. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button or subscribe to our channel.